Original chaptering makes a difference in how we interpret Isaiah in the Book of Mormon. When Joseph Smith dictated the text of the Book of Mormon, he dictated uh, chapter breaks as part of the dictation, but they're not the chapter breaks we use today. They were made shorter in the 1870s under the direction of Brigham Young by Orson Pratt. Uh, and those are the chapters we know today. They made for citation and these kinds of things. And it's really handy. But if you look at original chaptering, it sometimes is very helpful for understanding the text. And all of 2 Nephi 16 through 22 is originally one chapter. Oh, wow. Uh, in fact, the whole of this long block of Isaiah, we tend to read it as, yeah, 13 chapters, chapter. But it was actually just three original chapters. So Nephi divides us up into just three parts. So what we're getting here in chapters 21, 22, we're at the end of that long chunk uh, that is just one original chapter. Um, and that can be very helpful. And part of what's happening over all of those chapters, if you take them together as a chunk, those seven chapters together, we're telling a story about how Israel faces down this massive empire, Assyria, and is reduced to just a remnant. That's the word that gets used over and over, just a remnant of itself. But then in chapters 20, 21, we're watching the remnant get recovered and gathering, starting in verse 10, uh, that predict this, this gathering of the remnant very directly. In that day, there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left. And he names this whole series of places. Uh, and then in verse 12, and he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four quarters, corners of the earth. Uh, here we get this very uh, climactic description of gathering and all the bits and pieces of Israel from all over, but Gentiles involved as well. Uh, and this is this climax of the story Isaiah has been telling. <laughs>